Last thing I kind of wanted to ask you was, because um, I know like the students here are like, you know, um, really politically engaged and I guess you kind of have to be like living in a bunker to like not be politically engaged right now and not be concerned. Um, and, you know, I know that there's been, I think there's like a lot of pressure on, on, on you as like a public figure and as the editor of a teen girl magazine to kind of like... I don't know, like be espousing like good politics. And I know that right now there's like almost like a fetish for like writing and art that like directly relates to Trump and like this administration. Fetish is the right word. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I always think about how like ta Coates is like, I'm not an activist, I'm a writer. Like activists are people who work like in communities and who, you know, like, work for community grassroots organizations and organize like I write for the Atlantic and I write books and like my job as a writer is to be like thoughtful interesting to pose complex questions to like engage in nuance um, and that's and I, I think that's true and I also think at the same time like you know because of him we've changed so much of like his writing is also I don't know, his writing has also made an impact. Like 10 years ago, people didn't talk about reparations. Only like people who were considered super radical on the left would use that word. And now like a lot of people who are maybe more centrist or more liberal, like use that word, accept that word. That's mm -hmm. part of acceptable discourse. And I think that you also did a lot of work to like make feminism part of acceptable discourse um, in a way that you know, 17-year-olds 20 years ago were not um, as readily calling themselves feminists as they are now. Although I'm sure it's like, I don't know if it's like good that like celebrities have like feminist in their bios on Twitter and like Instagram. Mm -hmm. um, I have a lot of thoughts about that. Yeah. <laughs> but I guess I'm just wondering like, do you consider yourself a political person? Do you consider your art and your writing and your work as an editor political or activist? And I guess how do you feel about just how Rookie has contributed to that stuff. Wow. Sorry, I that's a feel, lot of questions. No, it's so good. I, I mean, I feel like a politically engaged citizen. I don't feel that I'm an activist. I mean, I would never put myself on the level of ta Coates, but I just identify with saying like, no, that's actually not what I do, literally. Like I, I write, I edit. I do it through the lens of what I think is ethical, which happens to be um, uh, feminist or uh, intersectional or, you know, concerned with everything that concerns me politically because you can't really separate, you know, your political beliefs from your moral, like, it's really, we're really learning that we're in a very weird moment where it's like, Nothing can be apolitical because apolitical is neutral, which is the side of the oppressor. But also nothing on the internet, at least, isn't tied to capital and cultural right. capital.